You think you know what passion is? Let me tell you something. Until you've read Green Arrow Rebirth number eight, you have no idea what passion is. This issue is hot. You honestly might want to have the air conditioner on when you read it. This is one of my favorite stories, written by Ben Percy and drawn by Otto Schmidt. Otto Schmidt is known for drawing exotic, sensual scenes. In the story, Oliver and Dinah are shipwrecked and stranded on this island. This is a great story because pretty much since issue 3, Green Arrow and Black Canary have been on the run. So this story really slows things down and gives the couple more breathless moments. The title of this story, Island of Scars, is very appropriate because it really symbolizes Green Arrow and Black Canary more so than the physical island that they're on. These two characters carry deep scars with them. They're both wounded, they've been through a lot from issues 1 through 5. Kidnappings, torture, arguments, each one had to find themselves. Green Arrow made a choice to kill Oliver Queen. Oliver has lost everything. His money, his company, his status in the world, it's all gone. There's only Green Arrow now. Oliver Queen is dead. That sort of reminds me of the Arkham Knight story at the end when Bruce Wayne gives up everything and fakes his death so that the Batman could live on. And I really like that a lot. I enjoy this storyline of Oliver Queen a lot and Dinah because she has scars too. And as they share some erotic moments, we get to learn a bit more about her and her past in this story. Her past of jumping from foster home to foster home, living on the streets, totally opposite from Green Arrow. Oliver Queen, he's like Bruce Wayne. He's rich, well not as rich as Wayne, but he's a millionaire. He comes from a very privileged, comfortable background. Opposites attract, and Oliver and Dinah's different personalities are what make not only this story, but this series. This story is amazing. It's something you couldn't read by itself, though. You, you can't read this as a one-shot. If you want to get the full effect that this story has to offer, then you have to read Green Arrow Rebirth issues 1 through 5. But yeah, I'm not even a big Green Arrow fan. For real, I've never seen the Arrow show or nothing like that before. But I have to say, I really, really enjoyed his Rebirth series. And this particular story, I like a lot out of the entire series. Otto Schmidt and Ben Percy do not disappoint, especially Otto Schmidt on the artwork. I like the action-packed stories where the, the stakes are high, but sometimes, the stories that take a break from the action are better. These two learn a lot about each other, and the things that they learn only strengthens their relationship moving forward. Besides, this story is very intense in its own special kind of way, if you get what I mean. If you want to read this particular issue of Green Arrow, as well as other issues from Green Arrow Rebirth, I'll post a link in the description below where you can read this particular story and other comic book stories online for free. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.